Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cody Adams. The fifth rodeo performance gets underway at Foster Communications Coliseum in about an hour and a half. Carolyn is in the Pendleton Room with more on what's happening. Carolyn. The fifth rodeo performance starts in just about an hour and a half, and Peak Car with Peak Car Pro Rodeo is here this evening. It's always so nice to get to visit with you, Pete, to talk about stock contracting and what you do. You're you're providing animals, both horses and bulls, for the three-week run of the show, right? We are. We are. We're very fortunate to be part of the stock show and rodeo here. Uh, it's a great event. Uh, we were here last weekend, had four wonderful performances. Uh, we'll have four more this week, and then back next week for the big finale. I'm sorry. Sorry you didn't bring it up close this time. Nobody knew it was going to be this cold. It's crazy. <laughs> it's not supposed to be this cold in South Texas. I know it, and we had snow, too. Tell me about how it affects the animals, the bulls and the horses, when, when, it, when it goes from, you know, you have like a 30 or 40 degree uh, temperature change. Well, a lot of horses we brought down from Canada. It's been to the Can Canadian finals and everything, so they're feeling pretty good right <laughs> I now. I bet they like um, it. My, my horses from Texas, they're probably wondering what's up. <laughs> what do you all do when you get ready each night? when you have animals in the show as far as the lineup go. I think it's so interesting the way you have some horses that will come out to a left entry into the arena, some that come out to a right. Why is all that important for the ultimate score for the for the rider? Well, you have to know the animal. You have to know which delivery. You know, is it normally go left, go right? You have to sit. We set up the buck order, the load orders for all the guys in the back to load all the animals. And, you know, there's a little bit of a science to it. Uh, we start sorting pretty early in the afternoon and get every, everything loaded over here behind the Coliseum in uh, all the right pens, the way we look the building, and so it's pretty scientific when uh, something changes, it kind of affects a lot of things. It throws out a lot, and you actually look at spreadsheets throughout the year. You have hundreds of we stock do. animals. We do. We have probably eight or nine stock, stock contractors here, here uh, in the three weeks helping. Uh, us put this on just like all the other big rodeos. They, they, you know, outsource a bunch of the stock. We have probably over, uh, we counted them up the other day, 65 to 70 NFR animals here during the whole stock show. Uh, so we're pretty, pretty fortunate to have the kind of horsepower and the bull power that we do have here. Very important for the competition, too, because the animal is half of the score, the overall score. It is. Score. It is. And it also attracts, you know, the good cowboys. Um, so our entries are up over. Overall, for the rodeo. Uh, so yeah, we're everything's going the right way. We're just gonna have to get you another coat and a pair of gloves. Uh, uh, yeah, I need some long johns. <laughs> Thank you, Pete, for speaking. Thanks with for us. having me. Thank you so okay. much. It's always so nice to get to talk to you. We'll be back with highlights and more interviews tonight at 10. This rodeo update is sponsored by Twin Mountain Fence.